Hey guys, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. My name's Jason, and today I want to talk about my Polish bread bag. I know what you're thinking. We've seen loads of videos on the Polish bread bag, but I was so impressed with this little bag. I just had to do a video on it. They're uh, amazingly tough, durable, and for what you pay for them, I think you can still get these delivered in the UK unissued for less than 10 pounds. Amazing value for money. Now I've set mine up as a lightweight summer overnight bag. Uh, done a few basic mods to it, quite easy, uh, anyone can do it. When I got my bag guys, I uh, had a thin uh, webbing strap on it, stitching was pretty naff on it. So first thing I did was take that off and I replaced it with this uh, paracord rifle sling I'd got. Loads better, a lot more comfortable. Um, second thing I did was I put a wax coating on it, a uh, homemade uh, wax of uh, paraffin wax and beeswax, a ratio of uh, 7 to 1, a couple of coats of that. Gives the canvas a bit more of a uh, form, uh, makes it a bit stiffer and obviously helps uh, with uh, the water repellency of the bag. Um, the other thing with these bags is they've got like a retention strap in the middle and um, I found that used to just pull straight loose. Uh, it wasn't really doing its job. So all I did was attach a little bit of Velcro, at the end of the tab and there, and it secures everything in place as it should be. Really easy things to do, but they all make a massive difference to the bag. Um, next we'll run through what I've got in there. Starting with the outside of the bag, on this side I have my IFAC individual first aid kit. On the outside of the bag it's easily accessible, quickly get to everything I need. Uh, on the opposite side I've got a pair of heavy duty work gloves just attached by a carabiner and a little bit of bank line there. So uh, get to those nice and easy. On the back you've just got a cheap 2x2 two two um tarp it's uh double lined reinforced on the corners um it's ideal for this setup uh, inside there i've got the lightweight rab bivy bag with the silk sleeping bag liner that's part of the uh, sleep system for this lightweight setup i'll right, just put the tarp down so we can lay everything out and you can see what I'm packed in here in this little bag it holds quite a lot it's a bit of a tardis really so just open it up it's quite easy so we've got quite a lot of gear in here. On this side we've got my uh, mess tin, brew kit and uh, a bit of food. Goes there. Fire kit. I uh, won't go into this today, same as the first aid kit. If you want to see what's in that we can always do a, another video on that if anyone's interested. Um, ridge line. My fixed blade which is the Castrom uh, number 10. Uh, Swedish uh, forest knife, some methylated spirits which is uh, for my homemade alcohol stove which is in the other side. Um, on the front pouches here I've just got my uh, multi-tool Leatherman and that normally rides on my belt in a little pouch here. Same as uh, my knife, that will go on my belt as well. The other little front pocket here just got a little silver compass the bottom got my possibles pouch um, just got a small leather strop on the front there already preloaded with some compound inside at the back here Got some bank line, some duct tape and uh, aluminium foil. Loads of uses for both of those. Uh, spare batteries uh, for my head torch and my little through night, um, my little EDC torch that uh, is on my keys. DC4 sharpening stone and then my uh, Sawyer Mini which is for my uh, water filtration 
in the front. We've got a um, little survival bivy to reflect your body heat. That will be part of the sleep system that I'll be using uh, for this lightweight setup. Not sure how we're going to do that, whether we're going to use that as a um, browse bed, uh, tick mattress, or we're actually going to put the uh, bivy inside that. We'll see. Some meds, uh, just your standard stuff, some paracetamol, and Imodia. Also got a couple of large needles put in here as well, how to uh, repair any kit. Uh, some Puri tabs as well, just in case we have any problems with the uh, with the Soya Mini. Spare Mini Big Lighter. And I think, yeah, just a couple of split rings if we want to uh, make a little improvised uh, bow saw with uh, the backhoe blade I've got. Haven't got that out today. That's that for my uh, possibles pouch. I've also got uh, three pouches on the inside of these bags on the left hand side. In uh, the left side pouch we've got pot hanger, little folding shovel. We've got to answer a call of nature, we want to dig up any roots, uh, wild edibles or uh, want to have a go at making some uh, cordage. That's up there. I'll give you a close up on all the gear at the end guys. Also got the Old Faithful hand sanitizer, which obviously hygiene. Um, if you've been handling any raw meat, um, obviously and we all know we can use it as a fire starter as well. In this one I've got my bug repellent of choice. It's um, called Skin So Soft and it is a body moisturiser, but for me I find it's brilliant for the bugs, uh, really good for midges, um, excellent bit of kit. So that's what I tend to take for uh, insect repellent. Right, and this little pouch here, just got a um, little container and in here, like paper coins, just add a bit of water to them and these uh, turn into like uh, cloth size uh, towels which are ideal for cleaning. So they all uh, stay in there and there's enough of them little paper coins to do me for an overnight around some. Also got some uh, cooking oil. Obviously uh, frying up a bit of food or uh, applying to any of my tools. Another one we've got the uh, my head torch. On this side, let's just undo the tension strap here. Here you have just a cotton bandana cleaning up, help filtering water, loads of uses, excellent uh, bit of kit. Always carry one of those. A little um, improvised alcohol stove. This was a shoe polish tin, just with a bit of um, loft insulation in the bottom and a bit of gauze on top. Works absolutely superb. Love it. Backhoe, enough said about that. Clean canteen, 40 ounce um, steel bottle. Uh, I don't put mine in the fire for purifying water, I use the soya. Um, but you know, if we have a problem, we can boil water in this as well. Long handled uh, spork, I think it's called the Alpha Like. Pathfinder mug. Always carry some of the cheap uh, steel tent pegs with me. Uh, nothing worse than in you know, an absolute downpour trying to get the tarp up, trying to carve pegs. This way you can get your tarp up really quick. Plenty of time for carving uh, pegs later. In the back, we've got my uh, Bushcraft Essentials um, twig stove. This is the LF version, uh, absolutely love it. 
and then the Pathfinder uh, lid. As you see guys, it holds an immense amount of kit. There you go guys, that's all the gear laid out. As you can see, that little bag holds quite a lot of gear. More than enough for a uh, summer overnighter. And that's what I'll be doing in my next video. I'll be using this gear to do uh, an overnight here. Right, that's it guys, everything's packed away, all good to go. Now, the big question everybody's gonna wanna ask is how heavy is this bag? Now the wet weight of this bag with fuel, food and water comes in about 16 pounds, depending on how much food you wanna take with you. I've been carrying this for a few months and I've not had a problem. Reality for us guys here in the UK is we usually park up by the woods, hike in two or three miles and then set up camp. Obviously you're carrying less weight on the way back out. Um, and obviously there's gear you're gonna carry on your belt and on your person. Um, you can lighten the load, you could go for a plastic Nalgene bottle or a titanium um, stove, bush box or a titanium mug um, or even a lighter tarp. Uh, but this is the gear I've got and it works good for me. Uh, I'll be using this gear in my next video guys and that'll be an overnighter. Um, so hopefully you'll uh, come and follow me for that. Uh, but until the next one, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.